Hey everybody, Mike Morrison, National Sales Director for WS Display and co-host of the Don and Mike Show on Exhibit City News and, and uh, the Don and Mike Show.net, ExhibitCityNews.com, by the way. Sunday morning at about uh, 15 minutes before 10 a.m. Eastern Time, getting ready to head to the airport. I know. I've already come under a lot of criticism for this decision. Uh, I am flying to Pennsylvania for scheduled meetings, the ones that are still intact, and then also uh, a day in my Pennsylvania facility on Wednesday before flying back. Obviously, this will be the last trip for some time, whether it's two weeks, two months, or longer than that. But uh, I did say on the show for, uh, on Friday that I would be going on this trip unless something changed. And, and basically, my goal, besides doing the uh, meetings that I have is to just kind of get a bird's eye view of what's happening in the travel world while I'm out there. So I'm going to compile these videos uh, on Facebook Live on our on our Don and Mike show page. I'll compile them together at the end and kind of do a, uh, a, a culmination of what I find while I'm in Pennsylvania this week and report it back to you here on the Don and Mike show. So we're here at the airport and I'm in the Delta Terminal, which is known as the South Terminal here at Hartsfield Jackson International. One of the things I wanted to point out, I want to see if I can blow this up and kind of get a shot of her. Where'd she go? There she is. She's walking over to talk to somebody else. Um, not sure how it's going to show up in the video, but there are these folks here for Delta that are wearing purple shirts and all they have are hand sanitizer wipes and they're just literally going around wiping down every counter that somebody goes to, uh, which I think is pretty proactive. You do see a few people like here with masks on coming in. Um, I would say that the traffic is steady, not slammed, certainly not empty, but basically at this point, it's business slowed down. That's probably the best way to, to open this trip here at the airport Smoking bed for options. so now i'm on the b terminal here at hartsfield international headed to philly on delta As you can tell it's not crowded but then again it's not desolate either yep here we go <laughs> everybody's just kind of upbeat some people are wearing masks when i see that i say thank you if they're not that's cool too, as long as you don't cough all over me. I made that joke a little while ago. Social distancing is the new thing which keeps everybody that smells bad at least four feet away from you. There's no need for anybody in the country to hoard essential food supplies. They said to me, could you please tell them, just go and buy, enjoy it, have a nice dinner, relax, because there's plenty, but you don't have to you don't have to buy the quantities uh, because it's hard to refill the stores on a basis as rapid as they're refilling them. As you can tell, I'm not in my home office anymore in Atlanta. I am actually in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, just northwest of Philadelphia. Here for the meetings and the travel that uh, this video talks about. I just want to recap the flight. The flight on Delta was about half full. Um, a lot of upbeat people will say this one of my meetings that was scheduled for tomorrow on monday after lunch was canceled uh just before while well, i was a matter of fact sitting on the runway they just said you know what we we just don't want to go down that route at this point totally understand my morning uh appointment is still set and i am uh, in the middle of rebooking uh or a booking a second appointment for tomorrow after lunch so we'll see how that goes and uh hopefully bring you some feedback from the uh the businesses here in the uh, trade show and event world uh, from a WS standpoint and for our listeners. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, March the 16th, 2020. And uh, welcome to the new reality. I'm Mike Morrison, National Sales Director for WS Display and the co-host of the Don and Mike Show podcast. As we mentioned in our first video yesterday, we are, uh, we as an I, I'm in Philadelphia this week for half a week, fly back uh, from Harrisburg on uh, Wednesday night. Uh, 
and basically I'm running this vlog, if you will, a video log of events. The first one for Sunday, yesterday's travel day is complete. Today I'll do one. Uh, I've already had uh, one of my uh, appointments cancel today uh, in the afternoon because of the work from home model and a fear because I just came in on a plane yesterday that everybody's panicking and and I certainly don't want to criticize that don't get me wrong we are in a new normal but uh, this video will just show you what's going on it's kind of like Jack Nicholson back in the movie a few good men when uh, he's on the the, the witness stand and uh, Tom Cruise is questioning him and he says you want me on that wall you need me on that wall it's kind of like you want me in the field you need me here doing this video to let you know what's going on out here in Philadelphia in the real world on a Monday when we start a new reality so as we go along I'll let you know how it goes so I'm in Philadelphia headed back to the hotel I'm right turn here left. at the then, uh, turn right convention center. I'll, as you can tell, the Marriott Justice Center, City Hall, this area of Philadelphia. Significant amount of homeless here that are being affected because it's still pretty cold here. Right now it's 51 outside, but it's so much shade here. It's, uh, it, it's just real brutal for those who are homeless. It's uh, very obvious that uh, there's something that's not right and things are changing. Well, I'll tell you what, it is a windy Monday afternoon in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Standing in front of the uh, hotel that I'm staying at, just to kind of give you a visual of what's going on. Right across the street, caddy corner where I'm at. Uh, I'm not sure if I blow it up, you might be able to see. That is the King of Prussia Mall. Uh, one of the largest malls in Pennsylvania, and especially in this area outside of Philly. It is, for all intents and purposes, closed. Um, the Chili's across the street closed. There is a Wawa, which is a convenience store. Do believe it's open. And then everything else around me is pretty much closed. Um, head back to the uh, hotel room, do some more videoing, and talk to you about what happened today overall. Hey, Mike back in the hotel room, just to kind of summarize what happened today. I did have an earlier morning meeting, a late morning meeting, actually, with one of my clients. I'm not going to go over the name and who they were. It's irrelevant. Uh, basically, I would call them a medium-sized trade show and event supplier of our products as well as display products. And uh, they're in the office, a small staff, and they were working today, and we went over new products. When I was done, we spent about 15 minutes talking about business right now what's going on with those guys and basically it came down to three things that they're concerned with and and those three things come down to this you know logistics they've got some crates and properties that are still out there in the marketplace that uh, were being set up for shows and events that were canceled so it's important to get all that back billing and credits is the second thing they're concerned with some people are waiving the billing some people are not and some people are giving credits and some people are not so they're working on that but the third thing is essential for a small to medium-sized business and that's getting paid and they're already getting some kind of rough feedback from people yes we're going to pay you but we just don't know how fast it's going to come and for our small to medium businesses in this industry as well as any others as we all know that's the lifeline it is the pictures of dead presidents and that's the biggest concern as we know besides losing control of the, of the situation that we're in right now I think that's the biggest thing is the livelihood of the business based on money and uh, the the income of that so uh, there were some changes in my plan because of all of this the governor of Pennsylvania has kind of come in and begun to start taking more and more steps today I'd mentioned in that earlier video you saw just before this clip that uh, restaurants are closing down the seating areas you cannot go into a restaurant in the four major counties near Philadelphia and sit in a restaurant you can pick up food and you could take it home or take it somewhere else you just can't sit there so uh, that's going on right now all uh, meetings of people who are uh, sitting there uh, of more than 10 people are trying to, or they're being discouraged from having those. 
Um, and the, uh, the discussion now of a 72 hour quarantine has changed my plan significantly. I've just rebooked my flight to fly back tomorrow night on Tuesday, rather than Wednesday, everything has been pushed up because of meeting cancellations. And then I can also go into my plant tomorrow and I plan to do some videoing there, trying to catch up with what's going on in, in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, about an hour and a half due West of where I'm at. So we'll pick back up tomorrow and see what happens there. So I'm inside the WS Display Warehouse today and things are moving forward as you can tell. People are busy, people are doing their jobs. We have a somewhat of a steady flow of business and people are uh, somewhat upbeat under the circumstances. I used the terminology downstairs when I was checking in at the Delta desk of apocalyptic and then I came up here to the terminal and this is apocalyptic. The Capital Cafe which I just ordered a sandwich from you have to order it from Starbucks and then they will go make it and bring it back to you. The Pennsylvania government has shut down all restaurant seating area in the entire state. They have this posted here that uh, was a sign. We're currently ordering takeout at this time only. We can order at Starbucks counter, just like I said, and taking action to social distancing in our stores, blah, blah, blah. One guy just came by and said, I can't order a cocktail. And their answer was, nope. Adult beverages of any kind may not be removed from this. Of course, he yelled out at the top of his lungs, how am I supposed to get through all of this? Welcome to the new normal. Okay, home sweet home. It's Tuesday evening. It's not bad, actually, here in Atlanta. It's a lot better than what I saw in Pennsylvania, that's for sure, earlier. This is the Delta Terminal, so there's a significant amount of passengers here anyway compared to the rest of the terminals. I'm going to finish this third day video when I get home and upload it tomorrow, but it should be interesting. Hey everybody, Mike back here in uh, my home office here in Atlanta, home sweet home, and it is Wednesday around lunchtime, uh, 1230 Eastern Time had a chance to compile all of the, all of all of this from yesterday and what was interesting was driving home uh, and driving from the airport to my home which is about a 40 minute ride and seeing the number of restaurants that had either practiced drive through only takeout only and even some uh, there was an Applebee's uh, Hooters a couple of Mexican restaurants that I passed by that were actually open for regular business and the parking lots were packed uh, interesting trip to say the least today. I still should be in Pennsylvania, but because of the travel concerns and everything going on, I elected to go ahead, change my flight and get home. Uh, that being said, to recap this trip, it seems that every day when you go online or you talk to somebody on the phone, uh, it's getting worse and it always does in these situations, you know, 20 years doing this, we've seen some pretty bad stuff. You know, I, I just went back into my book of incidents, uh, going back to Mandalay Bay shooting to obviously nine 11 to the housing fallout to other occurrences that have happened and, and have had impact on not only our industry, but business as a whole, the world as a whole, Nothing like this one, though. This one is, uh, is, is going to be very interesting to monitor. But once again, just wanted to take you through those steps of what was going on outside of um, in business from this past Sunday until now. And it has changed 200% uh, or more 
since that time I left on Sunday and started this video process.